Hey everybody, I'm Amy and I go to church at St. Andrew United Methodist Church. Well, the question, do you all like eggs? There are so many ways to fix eggs. You can fix eggs scrambled, you can fix them fried, you can fix them hard boiled. I even like to make deviled eggs. You can make eggs in a burrito or an omelet, but my favorite way to fix eggs is in a cake. Yummy. Well, I have a few kids in my class this year who have chickens that they raise at their house. And so one day I was sitting at my desk and I got a surprise. One of my students brought me a container of eggs. I was so excited. He brought me eggs that his, that his chickens had laid that he had been talking about in class. So when I went to open up my container of eggs, I got another surprise. <gasps> Wait a minute. They're all different colors. There's white eggs and there's brown eggs. Have you ever seen brown eggs before? I've seen white eggs. Those are like the kinds I get in the grocery store. So I was a little bit curious. Have you ever wondered why some eggs are white and some eggs are brown? Well, the answer is pretty simple. White chickens lay white eggs and reddish brown chickens lay the brown eggs. So my next question is, is there any difference between a white egg and a brown egg? Well, let's check it out. We can tell that they're the different on the outside by the color of their shell, but let's check it out. Got me a bowl here. Let's see what's inside. Here's the white. Hmm. Here it is. Let's see what happens. Wow. Very interesting. They look exactly the same, pretty much the same on the inside. Well, did you know that eggs, brown eggs and white eggs have the same nutritional value? One of them is not better than the other and they even pretty much taste the same. So um, they're, they might be different on the outside, but they're all eggs are the same on the inside. So, you know, that's what I started thinking about and, um, it's a little bit true of people too, I think. Some people might be light skinned and they might have blonde hair and blue eyes. Other people have red hair and they might have green eyes. Some people have darker skin and they have brown hair and brown eyes. On the outside, they look different, but on the inside, they're all the same. Tomorrow on January the 18th, is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Well, Dr. King, he was a civil rights activist and he was an, a minister. And in 1963, Dr. King stood on a stage in Washington, D.C. in front of a huge crowd of people. And he gave this famous speech, and you may have heard it before. It was called, I Have a Dream. His dream, a dream of all people, of all races, of all colors, of all backgrounds, sharing in an America marked by freedom and democracy. I remember one part of the speech that reminds me of the eggs that we just looked at. Dr. King said, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by their character. Just like the eggs, we may be different on the outside, but we are all the same on the inside, in our hearts. We are all children of God. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of them all, up of the world. <laughs> all the children, all the children of the world. So before I go fix my eggs to eat, I'll, live, I'll leave you with these words from the Bible. In Luke chapter 10, verse 27, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Let's pray. 
Dear God, help us to love others as you do. Help us to tell the good news that Jesus is Lord of all and that we are all children of God. Amen.